Yo, never fear, Reggie's here, and we'll be back with another video. How y'all doing, man? Today I want to talk about, I'm about to say love, but we ain't talking about love. We don't talk about resilience, being resilient. Those who do not have a voice, those who don't know who they are, those who have not walked into their purpose, we want to encourage you. And Reggie's genuine love. The only way to really do that is to forgive yourself for past things, heal and grow. By doing these things, you change, which is good. Change is always good, uh, regardless of what people may say. Because if you stay stagnant forever, uh, you never experience the version of you who you were meant to become. Right? It's like a baby. When you're an infant, you are not able to do certain things like drive a car. But as you continue to grow, however old y'all was when you start driving, you know, I didn't start driving until I was uh, 17, right? Two-year-old Reggie couldn't drive a car, but 17-year-old Reggie could. Growth is inevitable, but at the same time, you must move as if there is no time. But be patient and understand that you're human. God has a plan for you. When it comes to purpose, I say start with a hobby. You know, when I started um, social media, doing anything with social media, I started in 2022, 2021, maybe 2022, I think in 2021 too, I think. I started, did it for eight months, or did it for a little bit of time, stopped because I wasn't seeing quick progression, and I stopped for eight months. Uh, what happened after that for me, guys, I went to an Atlanta master class. Like I said, tapped in with some people that looked like me, that was just knew what they wanted to do, had a vision for their life and their careers, right, going forward. Not just for the present year, 2022 at the time, but eternity, correct? So I stayed down and I just kept building since that time. Networking, talking, social media, I met my mentors back in, I will say almost two years ago. Well, well over two, three years ago. Um, we just kept growing, right? I planted those seeds years ago. And I had to remember, you don't eat the harvest every single, like, the next day. Or maybe even six months. Might take a whole year of hard work and dedication. But that's when resilience come in. That's when you just continue to go, continue to grow. So I want to encourage everybody, man, listen. No matter where you are in life, God has a plan for you. So if you stop today, you won't actually see that plan get fulfilled out your life. But if you keep going, and don't worry about the win, W-H-E-N, worry about the win, W-I-N. You always succeed. And that's how I always believed in myself. I always believed as a young kid. I always knew I was meant for greatness. Now I'm grateful for being a part of something that is bigger than me, an agency that we've built. We are the only 40 men and women black owned agency on the planet. To me, that's monumental. To me, that is beautiful. To me, that, to me, that is amazing. At the end of the day, it was about helping people. It wasn't about Reggie Uncut. It wasn't about everyone else that, um, how we work together collectively to change lives. It's about building the dream life of our own life and helping people achieve that, right? Whatever it is that they wanted to do. So I want to say my sound of my voice, man, if you have a vision, you got to stick to it. No one is going to see your vision. That's why it's called your vision, right? When God showed me in a dream one time, me on stage, I thought it was my son or something. I don't have kids or anything like that, but I'm thinking in my future. I'm like, that's my son. I didn't know that was me. I'm seeing in the vision, a billboard. I said, oh, man, somebody got a billboard. I didn't realize that was my billboard. When I see millions of views, I didn't realize I would accomplish that in 2023. When I seen search results, I didn't realize people would be searching my name like this. However, I put the work in, I put the content in, and I kept going. And now I'm thriving. Don't look at my position and say, I want that. Look at your life and say, how can I put myself together to go further? 
At the end of the day, no one's going to believe in your dream because it's called your dream for a reason. But you can network with the right people that will believe. Your hometown might not give a crap. <laughs> Forever. They might not care. But here's the thing. That's the beauty in that. I don't care if they don't care. Because that makes me better. It gives me even more of a hunger. But that's how it always was in the beginning, right? You started for a reason. You got to finish it. And say, Reggie, what's the finish line look like? When God says you're done, you're done. And when you're with God, the blessing lasts for eternity. He said, Reggie, what's the blessing? The blessing is your inheritance. Love, joy, peace, riches, wealth, and generational wealth. Just to start. And those come in many forms of facet. You get rich in spirit way before you get rich in pocket. You get wealthy in spirit before you get wealthy in your pocket. You get rich. You get generational wealth in your vision that God shows you way before it happens for your kids, 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 kids. Right now we're building for whatever God needs us to build for, right? The stages you go through, God, I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to get tested to quit. We know spiritual warfare is going on right now. We see what, you know, what's going on with God's chosen people. We see what the enemy is trying to do to stop from God's kingdom being built. That's what we're here for. We're here to usher in the new earth. These moments are pivotal, 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 but they're they're needed because God has a bigger plan. And he has a big plan for you, but you got to keep going. Don't look at, um, man, I ain't got no money in my bank account. I know people that had 17 cents in their bank account and now they got multimillionaires or pretty much on their way. So... With that being said, don't look at your current situation and say, why, why can I be that? Why this person not me? The more you do that, the more you actually showing God that you're not ready for what he got for you. And what he got for you is bigger and better than you can ever imagine. What he got for me is bigger and better. It's a Cinderella story for a reason. Starring you. Starring Reggie Uncut. Keep going. You don't need a million people watching your videos. You just need to put the work in. Everything else adds up. Keep going. Keep growing. Put the work in. And understand what comes next out of that is what you deserve. I deserve this moment. I deserve the peace. I deserve, I deserve the love. I deserve what I deserve because I put the work in. So if you put the work in, that means you deserve it too. You know? Image is everything. However, it's not self-image that's necessarily the most important. It's how... Jesus views you. People in the world can hate you, man. For instance, look at Drake. How many people in the world hate Drake? For no reason. But people don't realize the more you hate the man, the more he gets blessed. Hate. The more you hate Reggie, the more I will be blessed in the presence of my enemies. Simply because God ordains his chosen people. That's your, that's your inheritance. That's what you get. You deserve that. You suffer with Christ. You reign with him. So the more people that try to pull you down, the more people that will hate on you, you're going to get blessed times 10 every time. So let them say what they want to say, but make sure you stick to your vision. Let them speak what they want to speak, but stick to your vision. Let them think what they want to think. Evil eye, pride, pride eye, all that. Stick to the vision. Because here's the thing. A year from now, you're going to be thinking about these people. Tomorrow, I'll be thinking about people. Do you think about these people at all anyway? No. It's all a test. You know when people get sick in your life, it's only for a reason. Love them with the love of Christ. Understand, hey, jealousy, envy, hate, all these things are demonic. But at the same time, that doesn't mean you love them less. You love them and you pray for them. Because through you, that might be the only time they see Jesus. It might be the only time they get their minds and their hearts right. No one knows how long we got on this earth, but the time we do have, we got to use it wisely. We got to realize that all the stuff we build on here, what are we building for? Who are we building it for? Yes, I might be building for my kids, 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 kids now, but I know for sure when Reggie Uncut goes, I need God to ask. He's going to ask me a question. He's going to say, Reggie, how deep did you love? And I need to be able to answer that question. And if you know me, you know I love deep. If you know me, I'm a pure soul. You know I'm not perfect. But I do try my best to be the best version of me in every single day. Any in, in every facet. So in the love of Christ and Reggie's genuine love, I want to say one more thing. Keep God first. Keep going. 
Your breakthrough is coming. Let's get it.